watch tonight. Recreational marijuana is now legal in three states in Washington, D.C., but the sheriff of Carson City says that is something he hopes he doesn't see here in Nevada. In fact, he says the drug may not be as safe as some think. Paul Nelson joins us live in the studio after talking to Sheriff Ken Furlong about this. Paul, why is the sheriff so concerned about marijuana? Well, Wendy, Ken Furlong's been the Carson City Sheriff for 12 years, and during that time, he says he hasn't seen any violent crimes involving meth and heroin like you would expect. But with marijuana, he says that's a different story. Carson City isn't known as a hotbed of violent crime. Sheriff Furlong says if you exclude the IHOP shooting in 2011, the city averages about one homicide per year. But when it comes to violent crimes, there's one thing that does stand out. Second to domestic violence, um, Marijuana is at the top of our list of, of violent acts here in Carson City. One of those happened just two years ago on Super Bowl Sunday. One pulls out a gun, shoots the other right, right straight in the heart. Marijuana found at the residence. Meth and heroin users are often involved in burglaries and robberies. And while those drugs are viewed as much more destructive, Furlong says users may harm themselves but don't normally hurt others. A meth user, we call them tweakers. They just spin in circles. They don't get anything done. He may threaten you, but he just can't get out of that circle of, of, of the effect of the drugs. Um, same with the heroin. But the marijuana user is a clear-headed person. Furlong says he doesn't think marijuana causes people to commit violent crimes, but says it does play a role. We have had several that are either directly or indirectly related to marijuana. It's not the drug that we're talking about. It's the culture that surrounds it. He says that culture is like a religion to some people that they protect. The sheriff's office has even seen deadly conflicts over stolen weed. It's a cherished culture, okay? And to violate that can produce some very, very dramatic effects, such as what we've seen here. Many people are pushing to legalize pot for recreational use here in Nevada, including Senator Tick Seegerblum. We tried today to get his reaction to Sheriff Furlong's comments, but he was traveling back to Las Vegas and not available to talk. Colorado, Washington, and Alaska have already legalized recreational use. Covering Safety Watch live in the studio, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.